everyone, this is Simmer Erin, and today I am with another Paralyze video. Now, this one does come directly from an article, and I'm going to be kind of going through some information they've gathered. So, of course, credit where credit is due. I will leave the link below in case you guys are interested. But I wanted to do this because I kind of wanted to add some of my own commentary, and also because I know a lot of you have a lot of questions about Paralyze. And I feel like this might either clear some of those questions up or actually leave some more questions. So as always, I love hearing from you guys. Definitely let me know in the comments below what do you think about these updates and let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, we want to talk about para folks. And I've actually already talked about this. I had a previous video. Thank you for all the support on that. And it has been confirmed that Alex is working on para folks. So I'm not going to go too into detail about that. Basically, he's just saying that they're hard at work on the characters at the moment and they're really looking forward to showing them off when they're ready. And so that was actually the 14th of January, right? He updated that. So he's definitely hard at work on the para folks. No news exactly when we can see them, but it is good to hear that he's been working on them. Now, a lot of people have been kind of wondering about para folks' personalities, and I'm sad to say, I don't have a ton to reveal. I do have a tweet and also some other things I've heard. So this tweet, someone asked him, will there be a lot of personality options? Which of course is kind of a vague question and he gives kind of a vague answer. He says, yes, we aim to have complex and diverse personalities. Now, some things I've seen in the past was when Alex was pulling people and he was talking about what kind of traits and personalities, how would you like this to develop for para folks? And he had mentioned, you know, would you like kind of a system like back in like, you know, Sims 2 days where you have personality points? Would you like more a trait system? Would you like like a mix of things? So he is throwing around some ideas from the Sims, but I have a feeling that he's going to put them together in a unique way. I know a lot of people, myself included, would love to see some other things, like some things that we got in Sims Free, perhaps like being able to have favorites and just those kind of things that really add personality. But as far as the personality system it works, I don't know yet. Now, as far as expansion packs, in case you guys didn't know, haven't watched any other Paralyzed videos by me or any other content creators, basically Paralyzed is supposed to come base game with a lot of things, which really is getting people excited. So I'm not going to go through all of those things, but I know that Alex had mentioned that seasons and pets and also the ability to own restaurant among some other things are going to be available in the base game as well as some transportation options and so obviously we're not really used to this if you're a sims player you're not used to this but as far as someone asking about actually expansion packs let's go ahead and see what they had to say Will you be making expansion packs or would everything be in the first game and then you just make a new series kind of like I don't know what GTA is, so you guys can help dumb Aaron because I don't know what that is. And Alex says, the current plan is to have lots of free content updates in a few expansion packs. Okay, so this is actually something I wasn't aware of. Again, this was the 14th of January, so this is all pretty new stuff. So. I like the idea of free content updates. Of course, we get that in The Sims 4. Those are really important, not just for getting free content, but just for updating the game. It sounds like he is going to make sure that it's actually functioning and running. You know, that's really important. I know that patch updates aren't always exciting, but it is really important for the sustainability of the game. And he said, and a few expansion packs. So we don't know what that means. We don't know what those expansion packs are. My guess is he's going to release the base game, see how it does, and if it does well, he will release some expansion packs. So this isn't going to be an all completely inclusive game because some people are like, this sounds too good to be true. And the fact is, it's not going to come with everything in the base game. And he might even have to scale some things back. I'm not sure. So as far as Paralyzed, um, when is it coming out? I'm sorry to report that it's not going to come out this year, probably. And honestly, I'm not shocked by this, nor do I actually want Paralyzed to come out this year. You might be like, Erin, why? Well, the main reason I don't want Paralyzed to come out this year is because I don't want it to be rushed, I want it to be well-developed, and I'd rather wait. 
So this person says, hello, I know there hasn't been a release date yet, but can you tell us if it's possible to be sometime this year? The suspense is killing me. And Alex said, hi, 2020 might be too optimistic, smiley face. So I'm going to take that as it's probably not going to happen in 2020, and that's totally fine with me. Obviously, we don't know if it's going to happen in 2021 or 2022. So that's something to keep in mind is it might be a while, and I'm personally okay with that. Now, as far as object snapping, this is actually a feature that we've seen in a number of videos. And so some people are kind of curious about exactly how that worked and how extensive it would go. So this person asked, I've noticed in the videos that when building, you can place items basically anywhere so far, but I'm not very good at keeping things even. So will there be a snapping feature? And Alex said, yes, there will be snapping to help you align objects easily. So that's good. I hadn't even really worried about that or thought about that. I guess I just kind of assumed, which I shouldn't do. But that's good that there will be object snapping and you won't have to worry about that. Now, a lot of people are talking about the price of Paralyze as well. A lot of people said, this is too good to be true. It's gonna be really expensive if it does come with all this stuff. So someone asked, do you know how much the game will cost when you guys release it? This game looks good, I'm so excited. Alex said, thank you. The exact price is not decided yet, but it will be around the same as other games in the genre. So to this, this is a little bit confusing to me, right? And I, I don't blame Alex. He probably doesn't know the price yet. He probably can't know the price yet. He has to factor in a lot of things. But in the genre, I guess like simulation games overall, you know, are we comparing to Sims 4? Are we comparing to just simulation games overall? So that can vary quite a bit. And I also imagine with like the base game, you know, is that going to be more expensive like it is in Sims 4? I would think it would be more expensive than any potential suspension pa expansion packs. But this does kind of show that maybe it won't be like way more pricey like people think. However, do remember that when a Sims game first comes out, it's more expensive than it is now. Obviously, the price declines. So as far as babies, in The Sims 4, if you play The Sims 4, you know that babies are a huge area of contention and people are very upset that they're still objects. And good news for you guys, if you're interested in para lives, someone asked, will babies be para folks and not objects? And Alex said, I wouldn't want them to be objects. So the only thing I will say about this is... He doesn't want them to be objects, so it doesn't mean that they won't be. But at least he has that in mind and he really is hoping to make them real parafolk. So I think I already covered this, but I will just go over this anyway. So what about alcohol in the game and bars? Now this might seem weird, but like if you think about it, like we have a crap ton of bars in The Sims 4. I challenge you, if you play The Sims 4, go look in your game, especially if you have like all the packs and count for me how many bars we have. Actually, I'd be really curious if someone tells me because we have so many bars and like, yeah, alcohol is a part of The Sims. So it's completely understandable people would ask how it would be incorporated in Paralyzed. So Alex basically said there will be alcohol, but we don't know yet if it will be called something else. So there might be bars too. In any case, alcohol should make you tipsy. So I actually like that added detail that Alex added because it does tell us that it would have some impact on the para folks. And I think on a deeper level, it also shows that he's thinking about bigger gameplay rather than just, you know, surface level, oh, there's bars, but like that there at least has some impact. And I feel like a lot of times that's why we might get disappointed in a game is there are surface level things, but they don't really do much. Now, obviously this is just a small example and Paralyze gameplay could still be really shallow. It's possible. I don't think it sounds like it's going to be, but like I said, always take things with a grain of salt. I really love doing these videos just because I am really excited about upcoming things and I am still, of course, holding out to just see how everything comes together. I want to address that because I know a lot of comments I've gotten were things that were, you know, speculation about this in terms of like, I'm not really sure if this is really going to be a great game. And to be honest, guys, that's okay. It's okay to be a little bit reserved about this. I don't think we need to go wild right now and say, you know, it's going to be the best game ever. And also, if you do hold that opinion, that's fine too. I guess what I'm saying is until it comes out, we don't know, right? And so I think for right now, it's fun to just keep on top with the news. And I am really inspired by the fact that this started out with like one creator and in 
you know, an independent creator and they have really grown so much and grown a whole community. And no, I'm not going to go out and make my own game because I can't program at all. I'm a writer and yeah, it's not going to happen. But my point is, it's really inspiring to me that other companies besides just the really big companies can do things. So I really do hope Paralive succeeds and I just want to bring this news to you. So definitely let me know in the comments below what do you think about these latest updates for January. If you have any thoughts or opinions, again, totally feel free to express your own. Just be kind to each other in the comments. It's okay to have disagreements. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.